actress Eliza Dushku's claim of a sexual assault when she was filming True Lies, age 12, has been backed by both her mother and then legal guardian. The Bulls star alleged she was sexually harassed by the film stunt coordinator, Joel Kramer, on Facebook early on Saturday, 13 Jan 18. Kramer also doubled as the film's leading man, Arnold Schwarzenegger's stunt double. Eliza played the daughter of Arnold and Jamie Lee Curtis in the film and admitted she has struggled with how and when to disclose this, if ever. She wrote, I remember, so clearly 25 years later, how Joel Kramer made me feel special, how he methodically built my and my parents' trust, for months grooming me, exactly how he lured me to his Miami hotel room with a promise to my parent that he would take me for a swim at the Stunt Crew's hotel pool and for my first sushi meal thereafter. I remember vividly how he methodically drew the shades and turned down the lights, how he cranked up the air conditioning to what felt like freezing levels, where exactly he placed me on one of the two hotel room beds, what movie he put on the television, Coneheads, how he disappeared in the bathroom and emerged naked, bearing nothing but a small hand towel held flimsy at his midsection. I remember what I was wearing, my favorite white denim shorts, thankfully, secured enough for me to keep on. I remember how he laid me down on the bed, wrapped me with his gigantic writhing body, and rubbed all over me. He spoke these words, you are not going to sleep on me now sweetie, stop pretending you're sleeping as he rubbed harder and faster against my catatonic body. When he was finished, he suggested, I think we should be careful. About telling anyone, he meant. I was 12, he was 36. She also claimed Kramer had put her on his lap during a taxi ride afterwards and how he grew aroused again, and reported that she was injured during a subsequent stunt gone wrong being overseen by him and suffered broken ribs as a result. Kramer quickly released a statement to Deadline, pronouncing Eliza's accusations outlandish, manipulated lies and continuing, I never sexually molested her. I'm sick to my stomach. It's not true. I think she's making this up in her imagination. This is all lies. Lies, lies, lies. This is just crazy. I treated her like a daughter. We all looked out for her. How does a guy like me fight against something like this? I don't know what to do. I guess I'll have to get the lawyer and file a lawsuit against her for defamation and slander. But both Eliza's mother, political science professor Judith Van Rasmussen and Sue Booth Forbes who was the actress legal guardian on the set, have now spoken in support of her assertions. Rasmussen responded to a comment critical of her parenting on Eliza's original post, writing, I was afraid of Joel Kramer, too and it was years later that I finally understood fully what really happened. At the time, Eliza was too scared to tell the whole story and in a way I think she protected me from knowing because she knew how frightened I was of the powerful man on the set. Sue Booth Forbes released her own statement to Deadline, writing, Eliza Dushiko was telling the truth. I was on the True Lies set for three weeks and reported Joel Kramer's inappropriate sexual behavior towards 12 year old Eliza to a person in authority. I was met with blank stares and had the sense that I wasn't telling that person anything they didn't already know. I tried to keep Joel away from her, Eliza, as the others working on the set but because of all the stunts she had to do, he was constantly involved with her and her body. Those who knew didn't know what to do and were far enough down the pecking order to be afraid of losing their jobs if they pressed the issue because all the power lay in the hands of those who called the shots and would stop at nothing to protect each other. She concluded by sharing, May Eliza be believed and supported and may her courage in telling her truth make a contribution to the sea change that is in progress.